Okay, and welcome to our second activity on osmosis and diffusion. This one is an adaptation of the osmosis activity, which originally involved having some potatoes and some salt water, etc. We're going to make it a lot simpler this time. So what you need out of your packet is the baggie with the Orbeez and also the uh, kosher salt. You also need a two or four cup measuring cup full of water. In this case, I have four cups, so I filled it up with all four cups of water. Okay, so once you have your measuring cup and it's full of the two or four cups of water, you wanna go ahead and remove your Orbeez or water beads from the bag. Now, these things are non-toxic. It's the same material that they put in disposable diapers, but that being said, it, it is very small and they could pose a choke hazard to young children. So be sure to keep them out of reach. Now what we have here is about a half a tablespoon full of, of these water beads and we can equate that to, I think to about eight milliliters. I'll go check the math here in a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add them to this larger container of water. Now the Orbeez themselves contain lots of solute, in this case a special polymer compound, and that solute is going to suck, right? It's gonna suck water to it. Ideally we would do this experiment with distilled water, but good old tap water is fine. So simply remove the top of your container and just pour your Orbeez down into the measuring cup. We're then gonna let them sit there uh, for about six to 12 hours and then come back and measure the size or the volume that they occupy. Right now you can see that they don't even register on the scale there. Again, that was probably around eight or nine mil milliliters of volume that was occupied by these water beads, but that's gonna change as they successively uh, swell uh, and absorb water. Okay, now welcome back. It's been about 12 hours since we've added the four cups of water to our water beads or Orbeez, and you can see that the volume has increased quite a bit. So what we're gonna do now is drain any excess water and then measure the volume of Orbeez that are left there. So we have here, it's just a regular colander, and I'm just gonna pour these over the sink. Okay. And then I'm gonna introduce those back into the original container. A little bit of water is okay. Be careful, they do go everywhere. And then we're gonna sit there and try to measure the actual volume that is uh, occupied now by the hydrated uh, water beads. Okay, so here we have our um, measuring cup, and this measuring cup is fortunate to measure both in cups as well as milliliters, but if your measuring cup doesn't do that, we can do a simple conversion. So each cup is about 237 milliliters. Now remember that we started with a container of uh, water beads that was about a half a tablespoon. That's around seven or eight uh, milliliters. So there's 15 milliliters in a, in a tablespoon. And now that volume has increased to, I'd say right around uh, 900 to 1,000 milliliters. So it went from, again, nine to uh, 900. So that's 100 times they've expanded uh, their size. And that was due to the process of osmosis, right? They have this special resin on the inside uh, and that resin acts as a solute. The solute sucks up the water through osmosis. And so that's the first part of our experiment. You wanna uh, basically take a picture of this with your cell phone and also upload it to the course website. I'll tell you how to do that on La Lima. Uh, next, we need to add a little bit of rock salt. So rock salt here is gonna act as a secondary solute. So we've removed the excess water, and now we're gonna take about one tablespoon of rock salt and then mix it in with our Orbeez and see how the volume changes, whether they shrink or swell. So what is your prediction? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna take that rock salt and I'm gonna sprinkle it around there. And these are non-toxic, so you can get your hands in there, that's fine too and you just wanna mix it around. And we're gonna come back in about another six hours and see how the volume has changed, right? The volume initially uh, was eight mils or nine mils, and then it went up to about 900 mils. And now we're gonna see what happens with the addition of the salt. Okay, welcome back. So it's been about four hours since we poured the salt on our water beads, and now we're gonna take a look and see how their volume has changed. What you can see first of all is we have a lot of water above the water beads. So the volume of water beads has gone down because remember we poured off all the excess water after we'd hydrated the water beads uh, about four hours ago. So now there's a lot more water uh, in the container because what's happened is the salt has drawn out some of that water through the process of osmosis. 
So what we're going to do now is pour out the excess salt water and then once again measure that uh, the actual volume of water beads that remains. All right, what you can see now is that we have a lot less volume uh, made up by those water beads. Initially, uh, they were only about nine uh, milliliters or eight milliliters, and then we hydrated them, and they went all the way up to uh, 900 milliliters, which was right about there. Uh, but now they're down around the 300 milliliters. Again, if you don't have a uh, measuring cup that uses milliliters, you can just use the simple conversion that I used earlier between cups and milliliters. But what we can see now is that adding the salt water in this case, or not salt water, adding the salt has caused the uh, volume of the water beads to shrink uh, from 900 down to somewhere around 300 milliliters. So that is reduced the volume uh, down to about 33% of what it was beforehand. And so that has been through the process of osmosis. If I left them in for six hours, it probably would happen a little bit more. But the point is, is that salt that we put in there uh, act as a solute. And what do solutes do? Solutes suck. Remember, if we put the beads in a very salty solution, that would be a hypertonic solution. And hypertonic has a greater solute concentration than the beads do, which were really well hydrated uh, just a few hours ago. And so that extra solute draws that water out through the process of osmosis. So after you put the salt on your water beads, you want to wait about six hours before you pour off the excess water and measure the final volume. And once you do that, I want you to take a picture again uh, of the dehydrated water beads showing me the difference in volume. And then you're going to post that to the La Lima website with the instructions that I send out over email. As always, if you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email. Talk to you soon.